You may be wondering, what's the difference between dentists who are mercury-free and mercury-safe? Dentists who are both mercury-free and mercury-safe want you to know that there is a significant difference between the two. As a patient, it's important that you understand the difference because many dentists are becoming mercury-free but are not yet mercury-safe. So what is the difference? Well, strictly speaking, the term mercury-free refers to dentists who do not use amalgam or silver fillings in their practice. Such dentists have used this term for over 40 years to distinguish themselves from traditional dentists who continue to use mercury amalgams believing they were safe. But even dentists who did not use amalgam fillings still had to remove them, and the removal process released excessive and dangerous amounts of toxic mercury vapor into the air. Being mercury-free was a good start, but it solved only half the problem. Mercury safe refers to those dentists who adopted more rigorous protocols to ensure their own safety and the safety of their patients and staff during the removal of amalgam fillings from their patients. Most mercury-free dentists do not employ such protocols. So what do mercury-safe dentists do differently? What really separates mercury-safe dentists is their understanding that amalgam fillings release excessive amounts of poisonous mercury vapor when removed improperly. This dangerous vapor negatively affects not only the dentists themselves, but also the dental staff and the patient. Patients absolutely must be protected from exposure to mercury vapor during the amalgam removal process. Mercury safe dentists also have specialized equipment, training, experience, and skills necessary to minimize their patient's exposure. If you want to protect yourself from excessive and unnecessary occupational exposure to mercury vapor at the dental office, make sure your dentist is not just mercury free, but also mercury safe. Okay, so another important aspect of mercury safety is protection for the dentist and staff. Um, because we know that mercury uh, particulates can travel virtually anywhere, we do not want to bring them out of this safe environment and possibly contaminate the rest of the office. So we are now using or utilizing disposable safety suits, as you see here, uh, which are thrown away immediately after each uh, treatment. Both the dentist and the staff should be wearing this. Or anyone who comes in contact with a patient being treated. And when your dentist is fully geared up, he should look something like this. So here I am as the patient. There are certain few minimum protections that the patient should be expecting. Number one, some eye protection preventing splatter from reaching the mucous membranes that line the eye. We also call that the conjunctiva, uh, another absorbent uh, tissue in the body. Something to cover the hair. We don't want anybody tracking mercury or any other particles out of the office. Uh, a full length drape for the patient to keep the clothes clean. And the next thing will be clean air to breathe. So, prior to doing any drilling, which creates aerosols, the patient should be provided with clean air to breathe. In this case, we utilize a nasal hood, which creates a seal between the lip and the nose, providing patient with clean air to breathe. They're obviously not breathing in and out through the mouth. And so for the whole time that we're doing any drilling, the patient will be breathing clean, fresh air. In addition to the intraoral or in the mouth suction devices that are utilized, we also need to capture any overflow that might not be suctioned at the point of contact. And here we have the extra oral vacuum called the dent air vac, which is placed very close to the patient's chin, like so. So that any overspray will go directly in to this machine and be filtered out.
One of the simplest ways of protecting patients' mucous membranes or tissues inside the mouth that can readily absorb toxins and metals like mercury vapor is to have a preoperative rinse with activated charcoal powder. Food grade charcoal powder mixed with water and then take it in the mouth like so. Cheers. You can see the black color covering both the teeth and the tongue and the lips and the cheeks uh, help to provide an extra layer of protection. Another barrier, if you will, to prevent mercury vapors from entering the bloodstream.